Geographical Information System or GIS is now one of the most important and bargaining technology in the world. Almost every sector, the map making, mineral exploration, agriculture, planning, health, or even defense and supply chain management, each and every sector involves the geographical information systems. Just for an example, when you go out for using Google Maps, you can see different colors on the map like brown, red, green on the roads or say when you find the shortest route that Google Map tells. So all these features use the technology of geoinformatics, which consists of remote sensing, GIS and the global positioning systems that is GPS. So hello and welcome to the channel Geographical Eye. Today on the occasion of GIS day that is 17th November 2021, we will try to understand what exactly the GIS is. So first we will try to define what basically GIS is. NCERT of India defines GIS as a system of capturing, storing, checking, integrating, manipulating, analyzing and displaying data which are spatially referenced to the earth. This is normally considered to involve a spatially referenced computer database and appropriate application software. It is an amalgamation of computer-assisted cartography and database management system and draws conceptual and methodological strength from both spatial and elite sciences such as computer science, statistics, cartography, remote sensing, database technology, geography, geology, hydrology, agriculture, resource management, environmental science and public administration. So what are the basic components that a GIS requires? So, the important components of a geographical information system include hardware, software, data, people and procedures. So the next question arises, how does a GIS work? So, there the sequence of the activities that are involved in GIS related to work are as follows. In the first, the spatial data input, which refers to acquiring database from various sources. Data is to be sorted out before it is entered. So the purpose and the aim of data, the maps should be studied thoroughly. The second step involves entering of the attribute data. Now the data is selected, it needs to be entered on the GIS software. Firstly, the spatial data is entered and is followed by the non-spatial data or the attribute data. You can understand the difference between them by a single example. On a Google map, when you search for a place like just for an instance your school, so your school is the spatial data, while when you click on your school, you will find which board it is affiliated to or what facilities your school gives, which courses are provided, what sports facilities are available, so the properties are termed as non-spatial data or the attribute data. The spatial data are the most important prerequisite in a spatial or geographical information system. Data is usually entered on a GIS software using two processes. The first is digitization and the second is scanning. After the data is entered to the GIS software, the next step is data verification and editing, which implies the spatial data that is captured into a GIS software requires verification for the error identification and corrections so as to ensure the data accuracy. The errors caused during digitization may include data omissions and under and overshoots etc. After the data verification and editing, we move to the spatial and attribute data linkages which means the process to link the spatial data to the non-spatial data. And lastly, the most important part that is spatial analysis. The strength of the GIS lies in its analytical capabilities. The analysis function used the spatial and non-spatial attributes in the database to answer questions about the real world. Geographic analysis facilitates the study of real world processes by developing and applying models. GIS may effectively be used to predict future trends over space and time related to the variety of phenomena. So this was in short the working of GIS. Now let's take into account the advantages of GIS technology. GIS technology has a lot of advantages like improved decision making, reducing costs and increasing efficiency, improved communication between the involved organizations, easy record keeping, advanced spatial and temporal analysis and managing things geographically. So where do we find the applications of GIS? Geographical information systems has a wide range of applications. To list a few of them are mapping, telecom and network services, accident analysis and hotspot analysis, urban planning, transportation planning, environmental impact analysis, agricultural applications, disaster management and mitigation, navigation, flood damage estimation, natural resource management, banking, taxation, surveying, geology, assets management and maintenance, planning and community development, dairy industry, 
irrigation water management, pest control management, varied applications in pandemics, and etc. So to sum up, the use of GIS and its applications has a profound impact on the business, industry, governmental issues, as well as on the general public. If the technology were eliminated, we would realize to a great extent that the management and containing of the COVID-19 spread would have been a difficult task for the humankind. So, GIS is a very important tool for the humankind and it is the future. Thank you for watching and Jai Hind.